Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Satoshi Sean. Very glad you're here. Glad to be here hanging out with you. Um, today, I'm going to go over Octify. Uh, I was asked to check it out. Uh, I have heard of him before. I had looked into him um, a couple weeks, month and a half or so back. Um, I did like what I uh, what I had seen. Um, I do own a little bit of Octify. I'm going to increase my bags. Um, I do like what they're doing, so I wanted to, to go over it and get the information out there. Um, before I do, if it's your first time here, please hit the subscribe button and the bell for notifications. Try to get out as much content as I can every week. Um, news, shows, uh, interviews, just hanging out with uh, my friends in the, in the space. Um, or just me acting like a knucklehead. Uh, whether you're a new subscriber or old subscriber, please crush the like button. It really, really helps me out. With that said, let's jump into Octify. I'm gonna gonna use so many puns. Let me make this bigger so everyone can see. So many puns, so much wordplay. Um, it seems to be a, a cornerstone of their marketing, which I uh, love. But there is a travesty. Uh, when it comes to this project and something that I don't understand why it has been missed, but I will go over that in the end. Um, first off, what is Octify? Octify, it's an, an all-in-one DeFi and uh, an NFT with cashbacks. That sounds a little bit weird. Um, if you're familiar with Honey or Lolly, uh, they're both huge. Honey, I think it was just purchased by uh, PayPal. Um, as far as like, it's like an aggregator. They're both like aggregators that go through uh, when you want to make a purchase online, um, finds the best deal or get you discounts. Uh, and with Lolly, you can um, get Bitcoin back for your purchases. Now, this is similar to that. Um, as far as the cash back, except you can get it, it's more focused on crypto um, in the crypto space, which I think is cool. Instead of it is focused on e-commerce like the other ones are, but this is focused on e-commerce as well as really focused on crypto as far as like, you know, purchasing NFTs or uh, or other things that, that we use, you know, in our little uh, corner of the world. Um and you can you can get that through uh, their using their app or their uh, their wallet plugin. Um, we'll go over that. If you, you make any purchases from their referral partners like uh, OpenSea, One Inch, Transit, Part Swap, Ave, or Coin Switch, they are growing their uh, their partners. Um, they're really really focused on that, so they get paid a commission when there's a transaction. Um, and if you use their DApp or DApp, decentralized application, um, or directly using their wallet, 40% goes to you, 60% goes to the token holders. So if you hold their uh, their token, you can also earn money. And you can earn like through the DeFi with, uh, with holding that or their token or other tokens. Then there is the Octagon, um, which there's eight members. I just think of that. Feel, feel, oh, my God. I almost called um, I've, I've lost his name Walker Texas Ranger uh, Chuck Norris I almost called Chuck Norris Phil Collins I think he would come and beat me up if I did that um, so there's eight members who are the octagon um, that have been elected uh, by the governance community um, as treasury uh, multi-sig key holders most of the people that are uh, part of the team here are anonymous which is a red flag and a bad sign if the project is custodial in any way but the focus of this project is completely uh, decentralized so the main thing is the code and uh and the project itself so and they, they do make that point um that that you don't have to trust in a person Whereas if there's any custodial uh, part of it and someone has access to your funds, then the team is very, very important because you have to know who to go after if anybody messes with you. Um, 
And then this goes to their blog, which I'm going to go over their, their latest uh, blog post. So I'm going to give you a real basic overview of this. Uh, you should always do your own research. I'm not your financial advisor, I'm not your dad. Um, I do like this. So I'm going to go over what I think is cool about it and interesting. I'll leave links to everything so you can go check it out. Um, they have an about page, which covers a lot of stuff. It, a lot of stuff. Uh, Optify, the Actify dApps, an all-in-one decentralized application, serving up direct access to broad range of DeFi and NFT marketplaces from one convenient location. It works very simple. You just connect your wallet. Um, there's the different assets that you can, uh, they have swap. They also have a support um, for you to be able to get help. Updates, community to find out what's going on. And their manifesto, which is also right here. Now the roadmap will go over. You can go to their GitHub and check out that. Telegram and forums, which is just where the other thing takes you in the blog. Um, Octify Wallet's a fork of MetaMask with a lower built-in swap fees. It's always nice to hear. Um, support for various networks. By default, essential NFT features and removal of all user tracking. One of the things, like I said, the team wants to be uh, anonymous, but there is a very big focus on anonymity and privacy. Anonymity. I don't know why I said it like that. Anonymity and privacy, um, which I really, really like. Uh, this is developing fiat off-ramps. Um, well, off-ramps for crypto. Uh, they are developing a fiat off-ramp, but there's other off-ramps, which I also think is cool because they're, you, you can utilize them to remain anonymous. Um, the Octify token, it's an ERC-20. Um, Octo, it's used to uh, govern the project and unlock exclusive features and to earn extra your more share of uh, revenue. Um, I basically touched on this. When you transact with any of the referral partners with your wallet or from the DAP um, or directly on their own website, they pay them a share or, or a uh, commission, and then they pass 40% on to you if you're using their wallet, and the remaining 60% goes to the token holders, which hopefully will be a token holder, and then you get that uh, portion of that too. Um, if you don't have our wallet installed, you can still connect and use their D, uh, DAP with most other popular wallets, but 100% of any commissions generated by your transactions will be directed to their token holders. Why is it important? Now, this is something that goes over uh, Honey and Lolly. Um, we've witnessed similar uh, propositions in the $3.9 trillion e-commerce industry with the likes of Honey, who were just acquired by PayPal in 2019 for $4 billion. That's $4,000 million. Uh, this model has been replicated by crypto companies such as Lolly, which Lolly is really crushing it, um, who's used a portion of their e-commerce referral commissions to reward shoppers with Bitcoin cashbacks, which I said that. Um, so this is more focused on, like I said, uh, the crypto community and also not just Bitcoin um, on, on all coins in general and in the DeFi space, which is being opened up for a lot of other stuff. Now they have this war on rugs, which I'm going to go over this. This is the, the octagon and what they get paid basically works out to like a 30 oct octo per month for 188 day, 888 days, which is, I think that's 10 years, right? No, it's not 10 years. What is it? Uh, it's like two and a half years. What am I thinking? Oh, I'm thinking uh, 188 weeks. Anyway, um, so this is the DAP. I want to go over the, the roadmap. Um, so April, th th this is... Like, I, I think I touched on this. This isn't brand, brand new, but it's not old. It's only been around for a few months. It launched end of, like, end of last year is when it was, uh, when it came out. I think it was, like, December, November. Okay. 
Coin Market Cap doesn't want to load. Um, was I, okay, here we go. Um, April, uh, they launched the browser extension uh, wallet with cash back. Uh, they added a crypto off ramp with gold, cars, watches, travel, charity donations, fiat, and P2P. Um, cross chain swap and bridges. So this this is giving you cash back, um, and and uh, in the DeFi space but not just stuck on one currency. Um, they're focusing on cross-chain, uh, which is not, 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 not really heard of. Oh, my. Uh, okay, so um, I'm trying to think of all the right terms because, like I said, there's so much wordplay. So they're not called oracles. They're called tentacles because um, this the oracles really kind of focus on just – one thing, which is kind of more centralized, whereas tentacles, there's a bunch of tentacles. Um, so cross-chain swaps and bridges uh, for more than one uh, chain, and to be able to uh, to utilize the swaps uh, for for cross-chain, as well as for for um, cross-chain DApps. Um, so you can still get rewards even if you're using decentralized applications that are built on different chains. You can still use this, this one umbrella and uh, and get get your rewards. Uh, coming soon, Q2, which we are just starting in, I believe. Uh, browser extension updates for the Octify wallet, more aggregator options, and the NFT launchpad. NFTs are, you know, huge. Um, and then coming soon in Q3. And I like how they have their, their, their roadmap laid out. Um, it's not really in stone so that they're, if they don't miss something that they've failed. Um, so they man manage addresses without connecting the wallet so you can do things offline, less of a chance of a, a security breach. Um, add platform data, total volume, TPL, total transaction fees accumulated, platform transparency dashboard, and NFT launchpad improvements. And then coming soon, end of the year in Q4, uh, improvements for cr uh, cross-chain trades and swaps. Hopefully, uh, L2 options like Optimism, if live, and uh, uh, OTC on-chain swap solutions. So, I mean, this is a this is hopefully by the end of the year. Um, but then also it has all the stuff that they've uh, that they've done, which is a ton, a ton of stuff. And like I said, they've only been around since the end of uh, 2020. So the fact that they've gotten all of this stuff done is very, very impressive. Um, the team seems to be really kicking butt. Um, you can go to their blog here. Uh, it, they seem to be keeping up on stuff. Very, very fun stuff. Very... Uh, very Mimi, um, and they use Octo everywhere. Um, where is it? Oh, yeah. So that's another thing I wanted to go over is uh, so the platform is ever-changing indicators uh, shown in the drop-down menus, which are either green for live production, yellow, or work in progress. And here's a brief overview of what you'll find. Um, so to buy, swap, trade, invest in tools. So crypto, fiat on-ramp, um, and then gift cards as a fiat off-ramp. Utilizing gift cards is, and then Uniswap, I'll, you know, obviously you can trade and, and use it that way. But gift cards, I, th I think, is an important thing because it allows you to get your crypto into a fiat vehicle um, where you can utilize your gift cards to use for bills, to buy certain things you wanted to buy without giving up your identity and like putting that money into your bank account. Uh, so 
if you get a department store gift card, you're still able to purchase things that you want to purchase without having sent that crypto to your bank. Um, like I said, it's another way to allow someone to maintain anonymity. Um, or if you want to give something to someone without uh, giving up your identity, you can do it too with a gift card. Um, luxury goods. I'm hoping that's going to be uh, precious metals and other things, which I think will be very cool. And peer-to-peer -peer is coming soon. The Mimi. It's all about the Octos, baby. So liquidity providers, um, you can earn Octo with USDC, Octo ETH, and Octo LP. That's cool. So free Octo, Octomatically. Free crypto. God, they got me doing it. Um, Octomatically. You can launch the DAP just everywhere, but it, it brings you up to this page. Connect your wallet, like I said. Super easy. Super easy to do. Um, and you can swap, trade, uh, swap, uh, swap to bus and you to swap. Uh, buy crypto, buy gift cards. Invest in liquidity pools. All that uh, NFTs. The incubator is live. I'll hit that on that real quick. So this is the latest uh, post on their blog. The Octify War on Rugs, which is another thing that uh, this is laid out right here. So a couple weeks ago, they teased about a launch of the incubator. I-N-K, Inc. Octopus stuff. It's, it's a lot, man. It's a lot of Octopus stuff. So the Octify launch is an Octify launch pad. Um, so today you're here with an exciting update. Their launch pad is fully working and it's out. So the incubator is completely decentralized, completely decentralized, and automated ILO or uh, initial liquidity offering, um, pre-sale platform, connected to the liquidity locker, and automatically uh, created a Uniswap trading pair. So the incubator launch, um, that means that they're now ready to start onboarding projects. Uh, the first gem has been selected and has been embraced by our tentacles. Once again, the tentacles are like oracles because you can, I went over that. So the team and the octagon came together and decided it's important that the incubator is accessible for both baby octopi, smaller holders, and our giant frenticles so much. Our giant frenticles or large holders. As a result, uh, for the first launch, anyone who holds at least eight Octo can participate in the upcoming private sale. Basically, it goes over um, how the launch pad works. One thing I like about it is this Octagon um, and the, with the war on rugs, they they vet the, uh, the project so there's not crap projects and that people, I mean, you, there's, there's still going to be risk involved. It's, it's a pre-sale. It's, you know, uh, it's an upcoming project. Um, so it could be a, uh, I mean, they could always be, you know, a gem or they could be a dud. Um, but they have kind of, they have, the way they have everything set up is very, very good um, with their suggested lockups and all that. Um, but this Octagon really vets the project and, and uh, runs it through. Following pre-sale information is displayed in the community, the tokenomics, discussion area, links to their Twitter, Telegram, websites, and their audits. So I really do like how they have these, uh, the ILO, uh, ILO, set, ILO set up. Um, ILO is taking place in two rounds. Detail of each round will be shared below. Uh, the first round of any ILO lasts for two hours. To participate, your wallet needs to hold at least eight Octo tokens. If the whitelist enabled and the ILO is private, then you'll need to be on the whitelist to get in, as well as holding the above mentioned tokens. Second round, ILOs can run during a period of up to 14 days. If the ILO does not sell out in the first two hours, it moves on to the second round. This round is still subject to a whitelist check 
if the pre-sale creator chooses to make the sale private. Um, and then they have the same, you know, hard caps and soft caps and all that. But like I said, I do, I do like how it's set up. Check all this out. I'll, you know, leave links to everything, like I said. Um, see if we can get this to pop up. There we go. So Octify, um, Octo, uh, it's going for 62.62. Cool. The market cap, 49 million. Very low market cap, but I wanted to point this out. Circulating supply is, when market cap says uh, 797 million, they say 800 million. Um, still, that's super, super low. But something I thought was cool, like I said, it's only been around since October, no, September 27th, so end of September, beginning of October. So a decent amount of time, and they've gotten a buttload of work done in this small amount of time. But if you look at the... Uh, the growth, it, it's, there's nothing jarring. Um, and even the big dips were kind of along with, uh, you know, granddaddy Bitcoin pulling back. So it's very, very, very healthy, it looks like to me. Um, I have a little bit of this. and I'm going to, I'm going to up this to a, I'd say a decent bag. And that's just me personal. No, you know, no, uh. No financial advice, but I, I was really impressed by the by the growth of it in the, in the time span. There's usually with anything, there's going to be huge pumps and drops in this early stage of the project. Um, and then I think the DAP I already showed. Yeah. Um, the thing that I think is a travesty I don't understand is the team. That's Jackie Daytona, man. He is a regular human bartender. Anyway, um, this right here, he is the uh, the founder and, and an advisor, Dr. Octavius. The man's name is Dr. Octavius. Everything about this is octopuses. This is freaking Doc Ock. Nowhere, anywhere, does anyone talk about Doc Ock. All of the puns, all of the jokes, and this guy is not anywhere. I don't understand it. It's a, it's a travesty. This is ridiculous. Uh, the guy's name is Doc Ock. He's, he's Doc Ock. I don't know why it's not everywhere. Um, but that, my friends, is uh, Octify. If you liked it, let me know. If you have any questions, uh, hit me down below. Please leave a comment because you'll be entered in to win crypto at the end of the week when I do my uh, my weekly update uh, or weekly wrap-up show, um, which I think I'm going to do tonight or tomorrow. Uh, so this video won't get in there for this week, but you'll be in for next week. So leave a comment, uh, crush the like button. Um, it was good hanging out with you. You guys take care, and I'll see you in the next video.